Hey guys, it's Chris here from Solar Proof. Just going to show you through our new sun map panel mapping tool. So this is it here. You can uh, drag the map around to find your location or type in a location in using this search box. And you'll notice that it's set on Google Maps currently. So currently sun map allows you to choose from Google, Bing and near map. If you have a near map account with an API key, you can select near map and enter in your API key and that'll give you the near map imagery. But for now, we'll just use Google and we're going to just find a random uh, place here that we can put some panels on. Maybe this one here, or we might find something a little bit more complicated if we can. Mm. This one's got a bunch of obstacles for us. Okay, so when you're setting up, you want to define a region, and that's this little icon here. Now you select your bounds for your region. Uh, let's do something like this. So I can just use my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out as I'm selecting the region that I want to go to. So this one is a little bit complicated with with uh, that many obstacles, but we'll see how we go. Uh, now now that I've I double clicked to finalize that region, or you could go all the way around to select it. Now I need to get these panels nice and straight, lining up with the building. There's a couple of ways I could do that. Uh, one way is I can rotate this whole map by selecting Alt Shift and just dragging the map around like this until it's sort of nice and straight. If I had have done that at the start and then defined my region, it would be all nice and straight, but I'm just gonna click this compass to reset to north, and we're gonna define our azimuth uh, with a little bit of guesswork. So we'll set it to eight, see how that goes. Oh, we need a little bit more. We can click plus, gives us a little bit more. Maybe one more, and that looks pretty good to me. So now that we've done that, we'll see there's a couple of things going on. There's some panels on this very edge here um, that aren't going all the way. So what we can do is just select our area, reposition this little node here, and it should fill in some of those panels for us. So it's nice and straight. And just now we've got a whole bunch of panels. It's doing it down here as well. Maybe we want to cut that one a little bit shorter. Uh, so I've just got to carefully select that node. And that will cut off those panels for us. Now, probably what we want to do is we have a bit of a tilt on these panels. So we have some spacing in between. Uh, for that, we're going to have a row spacing of 1,000, which is a meter. Now, obviously, you can set that to whatever you want. Uh, maybe we'll add a little bit more, 1,200. Pretty, pretty reasonable sort of spacing. And the tilt of these panels, we're going to set to 20 degrees. So that's going to allow us to do our panel space appropriately. And now we've got some regions here which are giving us trouble. And we want to probably remove some of these panels because we can't place them there. So I just select this little single panel tool while I'm in edit mode. And now I can choose one panel, hold my shift key down to select a whole row from that panel onwards and just hit delete. Now I have to do this a little bit here just to get all the panels that I want to out of this system. It's probably an easier task if we had um, more kind of like horizontal obstacles where we could remove full rows at a time, but this is how it is at the moment. So we just go ahead and remove whichever ones we want. It's a relatively quick process. And you can just continue to do that. I'm not going to do it all right now, but you get the idea. Uh, you can also select individual panels by holding control and that's going to allow you to select any different panel on the map. If you want to remove them, hit delete or click this remove button and you're good to go. So um, 
let me just think if there's some other features I haven't mentioned. Uh, we can provide panel space between each panel, maybe a hundred millimeters, and that'll just expand all the panel spacing. But we've lost our um, we've lost our initial setup. How we've deleted some panels now. But you can see that's 2,249 panels, 600 kilowatts, based on a 300 watt panel. If we change this 330, it'll update our kilowatts. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, so have fun. And I hope it serves you well. And let me know how you go. Okay, thanks. See you next time.